In Skishima, Japan, there's a man named Mr. Mitani who likes to take his giant African tortoise out for walks. His name is Bonchan, and he's 25 years old. Mr. Mitani's wife bought him when he was smaller than the size of the palm of his hand. They expected him to get big, but not this big. And he started to grow rapidly as soon as he hit 10 years old. Now he weighs 70 kilograms, which is about 155 pounds. Mr. Mitani takes him on long walks down Monjodori, which is a famous shopping street from Monjayaki. And when I say long walks, I mean like these five minute walks that usually take about an hour because of his slow pace and because of all the people that want to take pictures with him. Mr. Mitani takes him out on these walks so that way he doesn't feel stressed out being cooped up at home. If you're ever in Skishima from 3 to 5 p.m. on a very nice day, you'll definitely see Bonchan taking a walk. Maybe even longer because he might refuse to go home. Here in Japan, packaging for some of the most common items never ceases to blow my mind. Check out what happens when I empty this bottle of Calpies. Hand soaps you can get in Japan. This hand soap by Biore pumps out a paw print. This hand soap that I got from Tokyo Disney pumps out the same Mickey Mouse face shape that you find at the hand washing stations at actual Tokyo Disney. Or if you're looking for an automatic soap dispenser, of course, Japan has it, but in Pokemon. No face shape though, unfortunately. But all of these are refillable. When you're in Japan and you're in for those long hauls on the bullet train, they have the best station food that you need to get for your trip. I'm going to show you three things that I got. I got this aesthetic $12 bento box and inside it already has chopsticks and a wet towel and inside it has crab, rice, and meat. What I love about this is that with a tug of a string, it makes your meal heat up. Like you can really see the smoke come out of it. It's amazing. Most bentos do come cold though, so you got to be on the hunt for the one with the string. And I got this other bento and it had Fuji-san on it and I thought it was so pretty, but when I opened it, I didn't realize it was going to be in the shape of it too. This was about $10. And if you want to get real fancy, we got this luxurious, marbled, lean Matsusaka beef sandwich. This one was about $12 and it melts in your mouth. Train station food in Japan is supreme. Have you ever wanted to go eat Yakiniku and none of your friends wanted to go? Then Yakiniku Like in Japan is meant for you. It's a one-person Japanese barbecue experience. You get your own booth, you don't have to talk to anybody, and you just order on a screen. It even tells you to light a fire while you're waiting, which is just a cute way to say to start the grill. I got their most recommended set, and it was only under $15. It comes with unlimited rice, too. Below me, there's a drawer that has wet towels, it has toothpicks, and chopsticks. And to the right of me, there's a bunch of different sauces that you can try with your yakiniku. And if the fire gets crazy, you can control that, too. The perfect place for a solo lunch or dinner. This is a coin laundry in Japan, and it has one of my favorite inventions ever, a washing machine just for sneakers. And it only costs $3 and an hour worth of your time. And yes, it's only for sneakers, so no leather shoes, no shoes with spikes on it, no rain boots or slippers. Two years ago, I used these shoes to walk a trail in Hawaii. Never got around to washing them, so we're going to use them today. All you got to do is pop them in the washing machine and add your coins. Detergent is already included. You can only put up to two pairs of shoes in here or four small pairs of children's shoes. And just like that, my sneakers are washed. And let me tell you, if your feet smell, this machine gets rid of all the odors. All right, so now they're nice and clean, we're just gonna dry them in this microwave. Okay, it's not really a microwave, but that's what I like to call it. So as you can see, you can put up to two pairs of shoes in there, insert your coins, and let it cook. The dryer gives off this really gentle heat. It costs about a dollar for every 20 minutes, but I like to pop them in there for about 40 minutes. And there you have it, the easiest way to clean your sneakers in Japan.